Hey there YouTubers, it's Don from True Cable coming back at you again. This time to talk about an age-old uh, problem that seems to come up uh, a couple of times a week where customers accidentally close one of our tool-less keystone jacks and then can't figure out how to get them open again. And uh, honestly, I can understand how that, that, that you know, that occurs. Uh, you know, you're, you're looking at it and then you just squeeze it and uh-oh, how do you get it open now? Well, you could, you know, do this all day long, ain't gonna help. Uh, technically, it's even worse with the unshielded toolless uh, because once that thing snaps down, uh-oh, you got a problem. You can't get it apart. So um, even I had trouble getting these guys open at first because I wasn't aware of how, but I've got a method. So I'll be right back. We'll get into a lighted box situation and we'll go through how to deal with this. It's not as hard as it sounds. Okay, so we've got our two oops jacks here. They're both closed. And uh, so the unshielded one is a little less straightforward to open. So we're gonna, we're gonna talk about the shielded one first. So my preferred weapon of choice for this is a small, precision screwdriver. Uh, you could even use an eyeglass screwdriver for this as well. Just something small, thin, and the, st uh, the standard, not Phillips. The keystone jack for sh the shielded version is being held uh, down and together by two metal uh, bars, one on this side and one on the other. So it's a simple matter. You put your precision screwdriver under there, lift up on one side, lift up on the other side, and it pops right open. That simple. So, precision screwdriver. You can get away with it with a standard uh, flat blade screwdriver, something a little bit bigger. But um, honestly, I have better success with the little guy here as opposed to the more standard size. Now, uh, when it comes to the unshielded kind, uh, that larger screwdriver is simply not gonna work because the way this guy closes is the smoke, lin the smoke lid here is going to snap there and it's going to snap there. So you have to be a little bit, uh, have a little bit of finesse with it and it's gonna require a couple of finger calisthenics but it is doable. So what you do is you take the, the uh, small precision screwdriver and you insert it into this square here, the square cutout, and you unlatch it on one side and keep it, keep pressure on it. Keep, keep pushing that side in so it's unlatched. And then go to the other side, this is where the finger calisthenics come in, and do the same thing. And don't get frustrated if you lose control of one side and you have a problem. It takes a little bit of practice. So I just unlatched both sides, and then I'm gonna lift up, and there we go. It's now open. So that's how you get these guys open. Um, it, it, they, they close very securely and for good reason. So uh, my, my recommendation is you pick up one of these guys or a jeweler's uh, screwdriver or something like that, or maybe an eyeglasses screwdriver. Keep it in your kit if you're working with these uh, keystones, these toolless keystones. So that's pretty much it. Subscribe to our channel. Um, please leave a comment below. Uh, let us know if you liked our content or not. Thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever, whatever you would like to do. And with that, I'm going to say you have a great day and happy networking.